Today this is uh, the second video for uh, equations and today we are learning to solve equations of the form uh, 3x equals 20 minus x and something a bit more complicated with some bracket multiplication but uh, the main thing here that we're working on is equations with letters on both sides okay so I've got four uh, questions to go through with you and then uh, there's another two that will involve a bit of bracket work and I'll look at that in a bit more detail in my next video. Right, so, so let's uh, go and solve these questions here. And remember what we're doing is we're following a process. We're trying to do the same to one side as we do to the other, okay? So if I look at this question here, okay? So I'm gonna rearrange it and I'm gonna solve it. What I want is X's on the left-hand side and numbers to the right-hand side. Okay, so first thing that I can see here is I've got uh, a number that's on here that I would rather would be on the other side. Okay, so the way I'm going to get rid of minus 16 is I'm going to add 16 onto that. If I add 16 onto that, then that will take me to zero and they'll cancel out. If I add 16 to the left hand side, I'm going to add on 16 to the right hand side. Okay, so they're going to cancel and that's going to leave me with 25x. There's my equal sign there. I've got 5x on that side and 84 plus 16 is going to give me 100. Okay, so that's where I am there. Here, I don't want the uh, 5x on the right hand side. I want it on the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 5x from the right hand side. And if I do that, I must do the same to the left hand side. So I'll take 5x from the, the left hand side as well. So 25 take away 5 will give me 20. That will give me 20x on the left hand side. Remember these are going to cancel out and leave me with 100 on the right hand side. So now we're just down to the, the same uh, type of equation that we started with in this type of uh, work in the previous video. I'm going to divide this side by 20 and if I divide that by 20 I must divide the right hand side by 20. So the 20s are going to cancel out and leave 1 because 20 divided by 20 is 1. So that leaves me with 1x and 100 divided by 20 is 5. So there's my final answer for the, the first question. Okay, follow the process just to work it through. I'm going to do the same with the, the next one here. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get rid of that 3.5 that's sitting there. Okay, and I'll then also get rid of the 3x. And I could do them in the one move, but I'm going to do them in the two, two separate moves. So it's a, a subtract a 3.5 or a minus 3.5. So I'm going to add on 3.5 to get rid of that because that will make zero and that will cancel out. I'm going to then add on 3.5 to the right hand side and what I should have left here is 6x is equal to 3x and that's going to give me 7.5 and it's a positive, okay? Right, so I'm then going to get rid of this uh, 3x from the right hand side because I need the x on the left so I'm going to subtract 3x from this side and if I take 3x from this side here leave me with 3x is equal to and these are cancelling, remember, so that leaves me with 7.5. So I've got 7.5 on the right-hand side. So then all I'm going to do is just divide by 3. So if I divide that by 3, I'm dividing the other side by 3. So that leaves me with x is equal to, and 3 into 7 is going to go 2. I'm going to carry 1 over, get a decimal point in between. 3 into 15 is going to give me 5, so that's going to be 2.5. Okay, or I can do a little calculation on the right hand side and just over here and just pull it back into to here as my final answer. So x equals 2.5. Okay, so next questions. I've got, uh, so b plus 13 equals 9b minus 7. So again, I'm going to take all the letters to the left hand side, numbers to the right. Subtract 13 from here. So I subtract 13 from that side of the equal sign. They'll cancel, so that leaves me with B on this side. I've got 9B sitting there, and negative 7, take away another 13. That takes me down the way to minus 20. Okay. I want to get rid of that 9B from there, so I'll take 9B away from the right-hand side. Then I'll have to take it away from the left-hand side as well. So these will cancel out, and I've got B, take away 9B. That will take me down to minus 8B and that equals minus 20 left on this side here. 
I'm going to divide by the number that's in front of b, which is negative 8. And I'm going to divide by negative 8 over on this side as well. They'll cancel out. And what that leaves me with is b is equal to, so I've got 8 into 20. Okay, so I've got two negative signs there, so I know the answer is going to be positive. So 8 into 20 is going to give me 2. Okay, and I'm going to carry over the, the 4. Okay, so because that's going to make 16, so I'll carry a 4 over, so I'll have a decimal point and a 0, so that'll be 40, and that'll give me a 5 sitting there, okay? So B is equal to 2.5. What I could also do is just leave that as a top heavy fraction, which is uh, good in this type of work here. So if I divide the top and bottom by 4, that would leave 2 on the bottom. And 4 into 20 will give me 5. So that would be probably a better answer than the decimal answer that I've, uh, I've got there. So 5 over 2 would be for what b is equal to. Okay. For d, same type of thing. I'm going to get rid of that 12 by subtracting 12 from the left-hand side. So I'll subtract 12 from the right. These will cancel. That leaves me with 3x is equal to 4x minus 16. Going to get rid of this plus 4x that's here by taking 4x away from that side. Take 4x away from that side. That leaves me with minus x is equal to, remember that's cancelled, that gives me minus 16. I'm going to divide, remember a minus x is minus 1x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each side by minus 1. Okay. I'm just going to put a 1 in there so you can see that there. These ones are going to cancel out, the minus ones. Leaves me with x on its own. And I've got minus 16 divided by minus 1. Two minuses cancel out and leave me with an answer of 16. Okay, let's move on to the last couple of questions that I've got in this video here. Okay, so just a short video. I'm just going to introduce some uh, bracket work here because with bracket work, it's going to give us letters on both sides and we'll just try and solve from there. So just like the work that you've done with your algebraic expressions, We'll multiply out the bracket on the left-hand side first. So I've got 5 times x is going to give me 5x. 5 times the minus 4 will give me minus 20. Okay, that's on the left-hand side. So that's a bracket multiplied out. On this side here, I've got 7x plus 2. I'm going to get rid of this 20 here, the minus 20 that I can see. I'm going to try and get rid of that. So I'm going to add on 20 to that side. So that should cancel and I'll then also have to add on 20 to the other side as well. So that's going to leave me with 5x on the, the left-hand side equals 7x plus 22. What I'll now do is get rid of this uh, 7x by subtracting 7x from the right-hand side, and I'll take 7x from the left-hand side also. That's going to leave me with minus 2x on the left. This is cancelling out, and it leaves me just with 22 on the right hand side. Now just uh, when we get down to it, I'm going to sub divide by uh, minus 2, divide by minus 2, both left and right. These will cancel out, leaves me with x is equal to, so here we go, 2 into 22 will give me 11. If I look at it, I've got one negative sign, so if I'm dividing and there's one negative, the answer will be negative. Remember if there's two negatives, it'll be a positive. Final question. Right, so what we're going to do is multiply out brackets here and also on this side over here, right? So that times that gives me 6x. 3 times the minus 5 will give me minus 15. I've got a 5 sitting there, so don't forget about that one. And then I'm going to multiply this bracket out by minus 2. So minus 2 times x will give me minus 2x. And minus 2 times 4 will give me minus 8. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just gather these numbers together first of all, just uh, before I start to try to solve this. So 5 take away 8 will give me minus 3. And that's going to be minus 2x that's sitting there. Okay, remember the signs are always in front of the, the numbers or the letters. Right, so first thing I want to get away is this minus 15. I want it uh, to remove from the left. So I'm going to add on 15 and that will cancel that out there. But I've got to add on 15 to the right-hand side of the equals. So I've got 6x here. That's cancelled out to 0. That will give me 12 when I gather these together. And I've got minus 2x sitting there. 
Now I'm going to get rid of that uh, minus 2x by adding 2x to the right hand side. I'll add 2x to the left hand side also. So that's cancelled out. 6x uh, plus 2x is going to give me 8x. And I've only got 12 on this side because these numbers have cancelled out. Uh, the minus 2x and the plus 2x cancels. And then all I'll do is I'll divide by 8. Both sides divide by 8. The 8s are going to cancel out. Leave me with an x is equal to. And I've got 12 over 8. So I can simplify that down. I can simplify that down by dividing top and bottom by 4. So that would give me 3 on the top and 2 on the bottom. And that would be my final answer. Okay, so, so this is the, the second video in this, uh, this series. This was solving equations with letters. And what we're doing there is we're trying to, to look at the success criteria of using your, uh, your knowledge of algebraic expressions to try and find solutions to uh, solving equations. Okay, that's all for, for this session. And I'll give you work to do um, on the SWE document uh, to, to complete the work that's based on what we've got in the video here. Good luck.